Ladies and fictional man, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you know Hi, I'm Kit. Today's video, we are going to be joined by Mr. Spencer Reed. We are not, I do not know him. <laughs> I do okay, okay. Um, instead, I'm going to be reading the books that he has written. I own both of them. He has written two. If he has written more, I'm not aware and I wasn't aware. So, that is for a little kid with a big green hand, not red hand. If you guys have watched my haul, you already know about these books. And Rumple Buttercup, a story of bananas belonging and being yourself. I feel like these books are targeted to young children, but I still want to read them. And I'm starting with this one. And my bookmark is this. Also, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you should. My new reading journal, because my other one thought, ooh, I need to drop my phone. My other one did not, ooh. Um, this is my new one. It's actually just the notepad I, I've had for a while, because I like collecting stationery. Oh my god, the pages are green. Since, uh, one. Anyway, let's get reading. I have literally just opened it, because I'm going to read to six, and then I've got a cook tea. And I love this page because, yeah, it's like all rubbish. Well, it's trash because he's American, but I'm British, so I'm going to say rubbish. And, like, there's fish skeleton. And then my favourite thing is, is that the only one? I think so. It's just, it's not detailed. It just says trash and cold snows and all the beans. I've also just realised, you guys... Probably don't know what this book is about, so I'm gonna read you for blurb. Rumpel Buttercup has five crooked teeth, three strands of hair, green skin, and his left foot is slightly bigger than his right. He is weird. Join him and Candy Corn Carl, his imaginary friend made of trash, as they learn the joy of individuality as well as the magic of belonging. This just sounds really cute, and I'm really excited for it. I also wanted to say, because I'm not the target demographic, I honestly think this book will be two to three stars. But then that's purely because I'm not the target demographic. For all we know, it could be a five star. Like, I've read seven books already. Majority of them have been, at least five of them, have been a five star. So... I don't know if this was for choice of Matthew, but I've just realised these sound, these sounds, these pages make my favourite noise in the world. Hold on, let me put my phone down and see if I can do it. Phone is down. Like my favourite. Oh no, I lost my page. My favourite noise in the world. Or at least one of them is laminated paper. I don't know why, it's just a noise I like. Um, I feel like I need to stop reading because I am already on chapter two. I wasn't even aware this book had chapters. But it does. Oh, that reminds me. I started working on my second book and that's all I'm going to talk about. Because there shall be a different video regarding that. Because I will not shut up about it. I just want to read a snippet of this book and then tell you guys how stupid I am. On the 17th Saturday of summer, everyone in town would wake up late, keep their pyjamas on and march down the centre of town, singing and dancing and lighting fireworks and laughing while eating giant bushels of cotton candy pancakes. My brain forgot that summer is a season and not a, like, and is a span of three months. My dumbass thought it was a one month thing and I'm like, there isn't 17 Saturdays in a month. Then I realised it's three months. Or at least I think summer is three months. I don't know. I just know seasons are a long time. Not only did I feel mentioned in Criminal Minds, now I feel directly mentioned by bloody Matthew Gray Goobler, whatever. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Because two characters have just... Well, two... 
two people have just come up to Rumble Buttercup and it's like, are you coming to watch the parade? And he's like, don't you think I'm weird? And then one's a little ginger little boy and he's like, I have round red cheeks and my body's covered in freckles and I have braces. And then the other character with him, which is this one, that ignoring the fact that it's a man. And look at me, I have really thick glasses, a super pointy nose and can't pronounce the letter R. That's me. I, I don't know if my nose is really pointy, but I know it's kind of pointy. But I do have big glasses. They're not necessarily thick, but they're big, so I'm going to count it. And I do have issues pronouncing for letter R. I did go to speech therapy when I was younger. Oh, the next line is, all of a sudden, Rumble didn't feel so alone. Well, girl pops, I said I was only allowed to read till six, and then I didn't finish this book. But now it's 5.56. I have four minutes to six, and I finished this book. So now I've read eight books this year, and it's the third. I don't even know how I've managed, like, I get it, I've been reading short books, and I read all of the Heartstoppers. How am I managing this? Also, I'm probably going to rate that book. I found it really, really cute, and I think it's really, really good for little kids. There's nothing I didn't like about it. So yeah, I'm just going to give it five stars. <laughs> like, no, I want to be strict with my five stars, but if a book's cute and I found nothing wrong with it, I'm going to read it five stars. I want to apologise for the red lighting. It's my salt lamp, because I'm going bed. But I'm reading this, and which is for little kid with... The Big Green Hands, which is the other Matthew Grey Grey Blood book, and all it says on the back is a story of colours, creatures, and connections. And that's it. I was literally just about to read it. There's chapters in this one. I'm just stupid. Oh, and if you guys didn't know, Matthew not only wrote these, but he also drew them as well because he's a, also an artist, along with an actor and a director. Yes. Also, listen, it isn't just a normal hardback, it's like a felted one. Anyway, I'm going to read this, and if I finish it tonight, um, I'm um, making another clip. But yeah, I have my skin cut on, it's being so sucked into my skin, look. <coughs> and now I'm just going to read... While I'm called to my boyfriend, which is my thing every night, because I can't go to sleep without it. I don't know how well you guys can see this, because my phone's currently in black and white, so I'm hoping it's not black and white for you guys. And I've also just realised that if it's not, my light is going to affect it. But I think this page is funny. A big green hand! And then it's... From here on out, there's going to be spoilers. This page made me laugh. Also, just realised there were spoilers earlier. I apologise for not putting a spoiler warning. But then it is a children's book. Who really cares? Um, Chuck is the name of the big green hand. And <laughs> this story has been taken over by Chuck. And it's now called The Gorgeous Green Hand with a small pink blob. By Chuck. I will just quickly show the page now. This is the page. That's this book done. I'm gonna rate it a three star. I do prefer the previous one. I did enjoy it. I thought it was cute. There was a weird page that was completely blank unless, hold on, I'll see if I can find it. Unless I was being weird. And I like, there was something on the page that I just didn't say. But I really liked it. I think uh, these this one and the other one would be really good for children to read and I recommend it to anyone with young children, not that like parents watch my videos. Pardon me. And that's where I'm gonna leave it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment down below what videos you want me to do and questions and then I'll happily do a Q&A video. Also give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I shall see you in my next one.